The Glories of Indira Ekadashi The glories of Indira Ekadashi are described in Brahma Vaivarta Purana in the conversation between Lord Krishna and Maharaj Yudhisthira. Maharaj Yudhisthira said, O Krishna, O Madhusudana, O killer of the demon Madhu, what is the name of the Ekadashi that occurs during the waning moon in the month of September-October? What are the rules and regulations for observing this Ekadashi? And what is the merit one gains by observing it? Lord Krishna replied, The name of the sacred Ekadashi is Indira Ekadashi. By observing this Ekadashi, one can deliver his degraded forefathers and all of his own sinful reactions are eradicated. O king, there was a king named Indrasena who lived in such a yuga. He was very expert in subduing his enemies and ruled his kingdom, Maheshmati Puri, with great prosperity. Surrounded by his children and grandchildren, he lived happily. He was always attached to the devotional service of Lord Vishnu. Being a devotee, constantly absorbed in spiritual knowledge, the king spent his time chanting the holy names of Sri Govinda, the bestower of liberation. One day, as the king was happily sitting on his royal throne, Sri Narada Muni suddenly appeared before him from the sky. On seeing the great sage, Narad, the king immediately stood up with folded hands and then offered his respectful obeisances to him. The king then duly worshipped the sage by sixteen ingredients. After the sage was happily seated, he asked Indrasena, O great king, is everyone happy and prosperous in your kingdom? Is your mind fixed in religious principles? And are you engaged in devotional service to Vishnu? The king replied, O best of the sages, everything is well and auspicious by your mercy. Today my life has become successful by your darshan, and my performance of sacrifices has borne fruit. O sage among the demigods, please tell me the cause of your visit. After hearing these humble words of the king, Narada Muni said, O lion-like king, now I hear about a, a wonderful incident that had happened to me. O best of kings, once I went to the abode of Yamaraj from the abode of Lord Brahma. Yamaraj greeted me respectfully and worshipped me properly. After I was comfortably seated, I offered prayers to the pious, truthful Yamaraj. Then I saw your greatly pious father in the assembly of Yamaraj. As a result of breaking a vow, your father had to go there. O king, he gave me a message and requested me to convey it to you. He said, Indrasena, the king of Maheshmati Puri, is my son. O Lord, please tell him that due to some sinful activities committed in my previous life, I am now living in the abode of Yamaraj. Therefore, he should observe the vow of Indira Ekadashi and give away its piety to me. Then I will be released from my present condition of life. Narada Muni continued, O king, this is your father's request to you. In order to deliver your father to the spiritual world, you should observe the vow of Indira Ekadashi. Then King Indrasena said, O oh, sage among the demigods, kindly explain to me the procedure for following this Indira Ekadashi. Narada Muni replied, On the day before Ekadashi, one should take bath early in the morning and faithfully offer oblations to the forefathers for their satisfaction. On that day, one should eat only once and sleep on the floor at night. On the day of Ekadashi, one should rise early in the morning, brush his teeth, wash his hands and mouth and take bath. Thereafter, he should take a vow to not indulge in any kind of material enjoyment and thus observe a total fast. He should also pray to the Lord, saying, O Lord, aside one, I take shelter of you. Thereafter, at noon, in front of Shalagram Shila, he should offer oblations to his forefather according to proper rules and regulations. Then you should worship the Brahmins by feeding them sumptuously and then giving them dakshin. 
At the end, one should give the remnants of the oblations to the cows. During the day, one should worship Lord Rishikesh by offering sandalwood paste, flowers, incense, lamp, and foodstuffs with devotion. One should remain awake that night while chanting, hearing, and remembering the names, forms, qualities, and pastimes of the Supreme Lord. The next morning, one should worship Lord Hari and feed the Brahmins. Thereafter, one should break his fast by eating only by eating along with his brothers, children, grandchildren, and relatives, while maintaining silence. O King, if you follow the Sekharashi as I have just described, then your father will certainly attain the abode of Vishnu. After speaking in this way, Narada Muni disappeared. According to the instructions of Narada Muni, King Indrasena strictly observed the Sekharashi, accompanied by his children, servants, and others. As a result of observing the Sekharashi, flowers showered from the sky, and the father of King Indrasena immediately rode on the back of Garuda to the abode of Lord Vishnu. Then the saintly King Indrasena ruled his kingdom without any impediment, and at the end of his life he entrusted the kingdom to his son and personally returned to the spiritual world. Such are the glories of Indira Ekadashi. Anyone who reads or hears the glories of this Ekadashi becomes free from all sinful reactions and ultimately returns to the abode of Vishnu.